nothing. Nothing. Exactly. So this ego you're speaking of is simply a thought. When you fall back into yourself, your original yourself, Susanna, and you're here, but you're not engaged with your mental state or your emotional state, there's nothing. You are here, of course, and the world is here, but everything is calm and quiet. Yeah, now I have example. I got it. But, you know, if you need to make a decision and you don't know which decision to make, how do you know that it's not the ego or the fear talking if I decide one way? Okay. Decide right. other way. Okay, great. That sounds good. So how about if we eliminate that? So how about if we replace what you said, right? What you said, we're going to replace that. Let's say you have no choice in your life. Anything you decide, including being indecisive, is your destiny. Anything you decide is exactly what you were meant to decide. It was already written in the book of your life. Anything. Oh. We're playing a game. You don't have to agree with me, okay? We're just, we're just two kids having a good time with each other. So we're playing a game. So the game is that anything you decide is, was already written. It was exactly what you were supposed to do. Just say, okay, I, I agree to it for now, just for the sake of the game, okay? Mm. All right, you agree? Yeah, I yeah? agree. Okay, good. So now bring that question again that you brought it. And I should make a decision and I don't know if, if I made it out of fear or like if right. It's the... right, right. So now that question exists anymore because we're playing this game that any decision you make, it's already written. It's already decided before. So now you're making decisions. So whichever direction you decide, is it was already decided. Okay. So can you make the wrong decision now? No. No. <laughs> it, the, wrong, the, the wrong decision disappears. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I forgot that I don't need to have the responsibility because somebody uh, decide for me actually. Not somebody. God. The thing, the thing or, is, or exi the thing is, is every day we make choices, correct? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Every decision that we make in our lives, in the moment you're making a decision, any decision it is, let's say, I'm deciding, this is like on an extreme side, okay? I'm deciding I'm gonna marry this, this woman. So I decided I found my girl and I'm going to marry her, okay? Yeah. Now, what is my intention in marrying this lady? Are you gonna marry somebody with the intention that things are going to turn to be a disaster. When you want to marry someone, are you thinking, I'm going to marry this guy. I'm hoping one day I walk into my bedroom and I'm really hoping he's having sex with my best friend. That's, I'm hoping that happens. 
and that's why I'm marrying him. Or you are marrying someone with the intention of having a wonderful life together. Well, what is the intention when you get married? You get well, married like to... Hoping, yeah. Yeah? You're hoping what? For the good, uh, not hoping, but you believe in, in the good, uh, like right. positive outcome, positive. right? Exactly, right. So every time you make a decision in your life, your intention of that decision okay. is your, whatever decision you're making, whatever it is, you're going to buy a car or you're going to move somewhere or you're going to go to a pizzeria instead of going to a Chinese restaurant. Your intention is the best thing for you. And you're making that decision based on whatever information is available to you. The highest level of intelligence which is available to you, you're making a decision based on what's available to you. So you make a decision. But the results are not always positive or the way you want them to be. Yeah. We, I make a decision to marry this woman because I want to have a great life with her. But do married people, when married, they always have a good life? Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes you have a great life for four or five years, then it turns to be a disaster. Or you invest into something and you buy some stocks, you're not thinking of buying stocks with the intention that you lose your life savings. You're buying the stocks hoping you're going to make money. But do you always, is it always going positive? No. So in every given moment when you're making a decision, that decision that you're making is based on the highest intelligence that's available to you. You're making the best decision you can in a moment based on what information is available to you. You cannot make a decision outside of that. Now, it may go your way, it may not go your way. And that's what life is. So if it doesn't go your way, you can't beat yourself up later because you made a bad decision. That's how life is. You made your decision based on the information was available to you. What happens after is universe. Uh, Sean, so I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. I'm trying to un unmute you. Uh, Dudier, a gentleman with beard. <laughs> Hi, how do you yeah. pronounce your name? I'm sorry. <laughs> Schwan, Schwan. Schwan. Where, and where are you from? Venezuela. Oh, yeah. Well, welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Um, I met you years ago in Sweden, and you were talking about the silence. Okay. Uh, and I was experiencing uh, the power of silence. And I wanted to talk to you or hear from you more about the power of silence and the benefits that we uh, reach when we practice silence without any inputs, without to know what time it is, without know which day it is. And, okay. and how that can really help us to connect with something higher. Yes, that's a great one. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you interview me at, at the expo? 
Yes. We, we, we had an interview together, right? Yeah, yeah. We have, oh, a, yeah. Okay. We have a lunch. Right, now I remember. With my yeah. tall girlfriend. Yes, now I, I, now I remember. This was yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably 2015 or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice to see you again.